Hi, my name is Miles Davis, a director of TME. Today, what we're gonna be talking about is how customers can achieve zero trust. There's four primary steps that we believe are the way that you can achieve zero trust within your networks. The first step is really all about understanding the flows on your network. Understanding flows on your network requires that you have a good idea of the type of data that different devices are sending. We can send information about the type of flows up to central that are going on. That not only gives you visibility, but it gives central the ability to be able to determine the endpoint types that you have on your network. And using tools like machine learning, we're able to easily organize and sort different device types into buckets. So here, instead of having a mess of different devices, I can start to sort my printers into a group very easily, my cameras into a device into a group very easily, and my HVAC control systems into a device very easily. Giving me the tools that I need to quickly identify the endpoint types as well as the traffic types that I have going across my network. The second step is all about authenticating those endpoints in the strongest method that I have available to me. So for my employee laptops, I may do something to the effect of use first dot one X to authenticate this endpoint and then confirm that I have my MDM tools loaded on that laptop before I actually give it that employee role, giving me not only strong identity from a username password type of era, but also making sure that that laptop hits the, the corporation's policies that I have set. Now, IoT devices are a little bit more challenging. With this printer, traditionally I may have just done a Mac-based authentication to say, yes, this Mac OUI matches the identity of what I expect a printer to be. But it turns out that whether it's HP or whether it's other printer vendors, ultimately you may have multiple printer types there, or you may have printers that are both enterprise and commercial fitting within the same Mac OUI. So using something like our ClearPass Device Insights tool, we can actually go further than something like a Mac OUI to actually use the data flows to identify those endpoints in the network, giving me a much stronger ability to identify that printer into a enterprise-approved print role. Next, it's all about enforcing trust. So with the enforcement and trust, uh, what we've done with a central net conductor is we've ensured that we have not only the extremely uh, easy way to be able to go do in trust, which is the centralized methodology, in which we have infrastructure devices that we can tunnel up to a gateway device and do a, what we call a centralized fabric and a centralized enforcement model. But we also have a distributed fabric. And the distributed fabric, what we do is we can enforce at the edge. This gives us the flexibility, whether you're at a branch or a campus, to be able to enforce the rules that you want to apply to say, for example, your printers in either of those environments, thus giving you that true model of trust only the flows that are the flows that, that you need onto the network for zero trust. Finally, we have context sharing. Context sharing is all about ensuring you use the most data available to you ensure that you've got the security that you want on those endpoints. So here what we do is we share information from ClearPass to our security partners. And by doing that, our security partners have a better idea of the identity and the endpoint types that are on the network to provide better security information. And then ultimately, our partners share information back with us into ClearPass so that ClearPass can make better decisions about the identity and the current state of that identity on the network. So in this example, I have a printer that's happily sitting in the enterprise approved print role. All of a sudden, uh, one of my security partners starts noticing that printer doing strange things that it wasn't doing yesterday. Maybe it's talking to a country that I don't want it to, or maybe I'm getting some IPS IDS signatures against it that aren't looking great. That information can be shared back to ClearPass, and ClearPass can then tell the network, I need to move this from a printer role into a quarantine role, thus allowing me to set a different set of enforcement policies against that endpoint and ultimately ensuring that I've got uh, malicious devices not on the network. For more information, please watch the rest of our Lightboard series and visit our website.